What's up LNC fam, welcome back to another video and look what I got behind me. I got myself a new project, 2002 Ferrari 360. It's a customer's vehicle, customer spun out on the freeway and this is what happened. He was driving home from work, uh, it was raining pretty badly the last couple weeks and uh, he hit a water pothole and lost control and hit the center divider and this is what happened to it so in a minute we'll go around and i'll show you exactly what we're going to do with the vehicle so for now i want to say a big thank you to you guys for watching this video if you're new to this channel and you enjoy this kind of content go ahead and subscribe and turn your bell notification because we post new videos every week new week new videos so go ahead and subscribe don't forget to like this video enough of this talk and let's get to work Before we're gonna start working on the car, uh, we got Carlos in the house. He's gonna remove the side glass so he could start cutting the old quarter panel. So that's gonna be first and then we'll pull the car inside and I'll start taking everything apart and we'll go from there. Just remove the side glass, so time to pull the car inside and start the surgery. Let's go. Ferrari in the shop so we could start taking everything apart and start repairing and I already got my brand new quarter panel from uh, Fair Parts down in Sacramento. If you guys ever need exotic parts reach out to them and they could pretty much get you anything. But uh, here is my new quarter panel. Look at this brand new quarter panel. So it should be a fairly easy repair since everything is new on this car and we're just gonna cut this one out exactly the way this one is. We'll do a clean cut over here, right here, and at the door. And then remove everything else. And also we got a new cage for the rear, a new rear bumper, and we're gonna have to get a new exhaust. Hopefully there's no more damages on this one, but we'll find out once I remove everything and see maybe sometimes there's some hitting damages. But with this kind of collision, it seems like just a straight shoot pretty much you know nothing nothing too major just uh, cosmetic damages on this one so it's a customer's vehicle so we're gonna take a good care of it and make it look like nothing ever happened so enough of this talk let's start removing everything and uh, we'll go from there Very tight environment to get to the bolt, but we'll get to it. So I just took everything apart. I removed the rear bumper, the side skirt, pretty much the whole quarter panel is free now so I could start cutting it out. But let me show you what I had to remove. So I had to remove the rocker molding, uh, fender liner, back grill, everything's gonna get replaced. And then what's holding the quarter panel, super simple, the way they designed this, like a go-kart pretty much. I gotta grind the spot welds throughout here bunch of spot welds right here as well and then I'll cut this one here for now and then I'll measure the new quarter I think it's like goes up to here so I'll still need a little piece so we'll save that for now I'll just cut it here 
and then at the bottom it just holds here by two welds as well and then on the side same thing the only thing that's pretty much holding is a two spot welds right here so I'll grind those as well and then the side is already loose so super simple the way they designed it like I said like a gold card you know so we'll cut this out right now and should be real quick because I don't need to save this quarter so I'll be like like a savage just cut it out go beast mode on it and then we'll start test fitting the new one and welding and all that fun stuff but we'll get to that later so for now let's just cut this one out and we'll go from there <laughs> We got a little progress, I just cleaned everything around the edges, pretty much we're all done removing the old quarter panel, so now I'm ready to start test fitting the new one. But let me show you what I did so far. So everything removed up here, I, I drilled out the old rivets, everything cleaned up up here as well, I'm at the bottom, and for now I left this piece a little longer because I want to put the new quarter panel and then mark it where I'm gonna do my cut and this one same thing I just did a cut here then I'll put the new quarter panel I'll, I'll mark exactly where I need to cut but everything looking pretty good super easy to remove this quarter panel tell you the truth it will take me 10 times longer to replace a quarter panel on the Honda Civic or Toyota Corolla or Mercedes Mercedes forget about it it's gonna take 20 times longer because it's heavy duty you know but so far simple and easy here's my new quarter panel so brand new like i said so everything gonna be very smooth installing this quarter panel let's start test fitting the new quarter panel and we'll go from there So I just test fit the quarter panel, everything lining up pretty good so far, so super happy and let me show you where I'm at. So right now I mark my uh, marks where I need to do the final cut and other than that everything lines up pretty good right here. Gaps are nice and tight just like on the other side. So uh, once I cut this out and this one, I will let my quarter go slightly back and align my gaps because right now it's sitting too high because of this cut I kind of overlap the old quarter once I do my cut over there the whole quarter panel should sink down slightly and we'll be right on the money so let's do the final cut and we'll test fit the quarter panel again and we'll go from there I'm pretty much ready to start installing the quarter and another major key what you gotta do I seen bunch of other people on YouTube they'll just weld it together instead of putting a, like a little pouch this is a little pouch that I made that's gonna go right in the middle and then we could weld the two quarters together I seen some people they'll put them real close and then they'll just weld them together but I feel like it's not as strong as, as you put a patch in the middle and then you weld it together so pretty much this will support everything so 
I made it perfectly that fits here so right now install it and then we could attach the quarter panel. I'll show you guys once I install it so you guys will know what I'm talking about. So just install my little patch. So this is what it looks like. Boom, I put this aluminum uh, plate inside my patch and I put two screws so it holds for now. So now we could put the quarter panel on top of this one and just weld it together. And it'll be very strong like nothing ever happened. So I'm test fitting the new quarter panel. Everything aligns really well. So super happy with the fitment. Let's take a look. So I left enough space so we could weld the two quarters together. And like I showed you guys, I put my patch behind this. We'll do a nice clean weld up here. Gaps, everything aligns really well. And same on this side. So next what I wanna do, I wanna remove the quarter panel again since everything aligns really nice and I wanna work on the cage, I gotta replace the cage and also I gotta remove the exhaust. We're gonna be getting a new exhaust. So I wanna free all that space up so we could weld the new cage and start welding the quarter panel. So that's the plan, so let's go. Wow, such a light exhaust, probably weighs like, I would say like 25 pounds max. So I removed the exhaust, we're gonna take this exhaust to a bottom auto house. They're the ones that made this exhaust, so they're gonna redo the exhaust and we'll get it back. Should be fine, like nothing happened. So other than that, there's no other damages to the engine or to the transmission or to the cats, everything looking really nice this corner of the exhaust got bent so they'll, they'll rebuild the whole exhaust and we should get it back looks like this corner piece got bent but this is titanium exhaust so it's very easy to bend let's start welding the cage and the quarter panel and we'll go from there We're getting ready to start welding the quarter panel. Everything is uh, aligned, gaps are perfect. So super happy with the fitment. So now we could start welding the quarter panel and the rear cage. So right now, uh, this is what we gotta do. We gotta weld this aluminum cage that holds the lower section of the quarter panel. And then, so we gotta weld there. Then we gotta weld right here, right here, and at the bottom, couple of spot welds. And we got the aluminum machine all set up and ready to go. So let's start welding and we'll go from there. So we're all finished with welding. This quarter panel officially secured. Boom, check it out. Everything is done up here. Up here, so next I'm gonna grind this down, make it smooth, and we're ready for body filler. And then on the sides, I'm gonna put the uh, rivets. Uh, those are Porsche rivets that they recommend. So it works the best, and they look really, really clean. I got one right here. I ran out, so I just got some new ones. And we'll run it through the side and up here, and that's it. Super easy and simple. Let's do it.
I got a little progress report, so just completely secured the quarter panel, grinded down all the welds that we did, so everything looking good, let's check it out. Boom, look at this, super smooth, so I grinded everything down, same over here, and then I ran a rivet throughout the quarter to secure everything, then a couple welds at the bottom, and one over there, so we're officially done with that, so next I'm gonna apply some body filler right here, and right here, and then after that we're ready for glaze and primer and then let me show you guys what body filler i use and glaze a body filler we always use at 3m here's the number if you guys want to order best stuff ever and then for the glaze we use dolphin glaze and that's the number in case you guys want to order it best stuff ever and hopefully one of those days uh, 3m will sponsor me <laughs> i've been giving them a lot of shout outs lately but best product so far that i use we use a bunch of other body fillers but this one I like the best out of all of them it's not the cheapest but it works the best so highly recommend try it out and let me know what you guys think so let's apply the body filler and we'll go from there Got a little progress report, so I'm all finished with the body work. Everything is done, so it's ready for primer. Let's take a look, check it out. So everything's complete. For some reason, it had a bunch of wavy spots, especially like around here, up here, up here. So I had to do body work, but now it feels really smooth. Like nothing happened. We got a little progress on the Ferrari, so it's primered, prepped, and ready to go. We're gonna start uh, painting it, and Jose already prepped the car, so it looks really nice, and let's take a closer look and see what's going on with it. So this is the quarter that we replaced. We primered the whole quarter, and now we're gonna paint the whole, pretty much both quarters and the roof. The way this car is designed, there's no brake line, so we're just gonna paint everything, both sides. And we had the other glass removed as well, so we could get in here and paint everything. I just got to remove the molding. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's gonna look like brand new once we're done with it. So for now, we'll end the video here. Stay tuned for part two. And part two, like I said, we'll start painting the car and start putting the car back together. Pretty much get this car ready for a wash and detail and delivery. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do. Subscribe, don't forget to like this video and I'll catch you guys in part two. Do свидания!